Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey guys, it's not Medusa, it's me, but I just, I live in Florida, so I gotta do this. Um, so I am going to finally do this video that I promised you guys about leashes and harnesses and the things that have worked for me and a few tips along the way. So let's get started on this. Rex was our absolute worst, worst puller. When we first adopted him, he was a hot mess, very anxious. He had no idea how to walk on a leash. Pulled, he would choke himself so many times. It was very frustrating, but this is why I'm doing this video. So those of you that have the same issues, I'm here, I got you. So in the very beginning, uh, we found out very early on that a simple leash and collar would not work for Rex. Now, for some dog owners and for some dogs that, you know, they, they don't really pull that much or whatever, using just a simple leash and a collar works for them. That's great, awesome. For other dogs, not so much. For Rex, this was just, mm -mm, no, we ain't gonna do it. So for Rex, many times, um, you know, this, this wouldn't work because he would always go forward, pull, and the sometimes the issue with just using a simple collar and leash is that the collar many times is gonna be at the very base of the neck and that gives you no control. That just, that gives them the momentum to keep pulling forward. Um, so we learned early on, not a good idea. Now, we did go into harnesses. Um, this one, this one, thanks. This is a Kong one. It has a schnazzy little handle at the very top. So you can, you know, hold your dog. Max came with that one. This one we had bought for Rex when we first adopted him. Um, you know, this one just snaps at the top of uh, the withers. And we learned very quickly that harnesses were not the best option, especially for mega pullers, because harnesses, you know, this will rest on, on the chest, right? So your dog is pulling you, is trying to haul you, and this is resting against his chest and you're behind pulling at him. Well, that's only gonna make him go forward even more. Uh, let's say for example, someone comes from behind you and pushes your shoulder back or grabs the back of your shirt and pulls you back. Instantly, what you're gonna do is pull forward, right? So it's the same concept with dogs that already have that tendency to pull. If you push them back by pulling back on the leash and pulling back on the harness, that's gonna make them go into more of a drive mode and it could escalate. Um, you know, sometimes dogs, when you pull them back and you're trying, you're frustrated, you're, you're anxious, you wanna get your dog under control, all that anxiety and frustration that you're letting off, your dog already has that. Right? So imagine now we got double anxiety, double frustration, and many times that's where problems come in. Your dog gets um, a leash aggression, or they get super excited, or they want to lunge at whatever's coming at them. So we learned very quickly um, for us, for myself, training Rex, this was not a good option. Now, harnesses are great for dogs that are going to work. For example, if you are training your dog to do uh, cart pulling, um, harnesses, perfect. Or if you live somewhere up north where dog sledding is a thing, harnesses, excellent. Again, harnesses are made to help dogs pull. Some dogs respond well with harnesses. So this wasn't really too great for our needs, for what we wanted. Next thing we went into, you, you remember this, don't you? Our head 
halters or, or gentle leads. Um, this actually made a really good dent on curving Rex's pulling. Um, those of you who are fellow horse lovers, you know what this looks like, don't you? Yes, so same concept just as you're leading a 1200 pound animal out of the pasture or into its stall. If you control the head, you pretty much control the rest of where the body will go. So the same concept worked for us with Rex. Um, we would put this on his head. It's really comfortable, guys. I, I really, really do, and I did enjoy using this. Um, it's nice and padded here by where the nose is gonna be. Um, and so, yeah, same thing. When we first started uh, using this, at first Rex was like, no, nope, not having it. I can't pull, no, nope. but he quickly learned. Any moment he would want to pull, this automatically will force his nose down. So if you're looking down, you can't really go forward. So this really made uh, a good dent in curving Rex's uh, pulling habits. So this one was also for Maximus because Max tends to pull a little bit in the very beginning of our, of our walks. He gets really excited. But Max hates this and I honestly don't like it either because it's super thin right here. Unlike this one, like this one's nice and thick. If you guys can like see the difference. There. Um, and so this would actually like ride up to his eyes and like sing them down like this and he would really hate it. Ooh, yeah. So for Max, who in the beginning would get super excited but then calm down, this wasn't really meh, didn't really need that. For Rex, that was the mega polar and I mean like drag my little self up and down Merritt Island, Florida. Uh, this was the best tool. I wanted to graduate Rex from this, you know. Um, it's always important to constantly challenge, not only yourself, but challenge your dogs. You know, if your dog has already accomplished one area in training, keep that going. You know, knowledge is forever. So we have to keep learning as we start accomplishing different things in our lives. And the same goes for our pack for our babies. So the new leashes that I was telling you guys about, I love them. I got these from Amazon. Um, they're just a, <laughs> you love them too, huh? Um, they're just a simple slip, slip leash feet long because you know I mean did you just see Rex he's like right here and so four feet is enough because if I had six feet it would be dragging on the floor um, and I don't want to wrap that around my hand no thank you um, so very simple it just goes over his head um, it has a little stopper right here so you can adjust that that way uh, the leash itself won't go over his ears and you know he's loose. Not that he would go anywhere, but just FYI. In case your dog does, FYI. So I really, really, really love this leash because it can, if you set it up correctly, stay at the top of the head versus the collar that's all the way down here. You see the collar? It's all the way down here. Well, this leash is right here. This gives you more control. You, again, same, same concept as with the horses and, and halters. If you control the head, you control the rest of the body. You can block the brain from doing what, it, what the eyes are already preparing it to do. We've already used them multiple times out on our walks and the boys do great. Uh, Rex tends to have a longer stride than me and sometimes he does pull a little bit, but just a, a quick, you know, tug to the side at the top of the neck. Thanks, Hanson. Um, does the trick. You know, it, it does the, the correction without choking them, without hurting them or anything like that. I can fit at least two of my fingers in here, so that's great. Um, and then this little stopper. And that's it, guys. You know, so again, all dogs have the same fundamentals, right? They need a calm 
assertive, pack leader, someone that can give them structure, someone that can give them consistency, some, someone that can challenge them in a positive way. That's all dogs need that. And quite honestly, we can all give that to our pack. Try different things with your dogs. Learn what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And remember to always be calm, be patient. It's not the end of the world if you don't get it the first time or the second or the third or the fourth patient. And have fun, enjoy it. You're with your furry baby, I mean, Come on, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But anyways guys, thank you so much for uh, joining me in this video. I am going to do a video, short video on uh, backpacks for dogs and uh, vests, like working vests. I wanna go into that also in a separate video, why it's a good idea, how it helped our dogs uh, to remain calm and focused on their walks. And I will see you guys later. Thank you.